questions? Randy, uh, I've got the ball up 38 seconds left. I believe there's a while for you guys to get the foul. How soon did you want it? Were you targeting a, a certain guy? It seemed like you almost had Zach there. Yeah, I thought we had Zach, to be honest with you. But uh, we were trying to get something going in the backcourt. In fact, we got a tip in the backcourt. Maybe it would have resulted in a steal. And then when it got over over the half-court line, where the reality was we were trying to get anybody other than Durant because of his poise and confidence level. And uh, I thought we had Zach two different times, but apparently not. How much did you miss Will Cummings today? Did he have any kind of setbacks since we saw him last night? Yeah, we obviously he's our one of our starters and one of our leading scorers, so we do miss Will. Any kind of setback or update on his status? Nice. Yes, he's cleared to play medically. It's just how he feels, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get him on the, on Tuesday. But it's sort of day to day at this point. But it's really how he feels. And, uh, so we'll just we'll listen to the doctor in the train. Sorry, okay. Do you okay. that the uh, atmosphere and the Yeah, I thought it was great. I, you know, I, I don't. Uh, obviously, none of our kids have ever been involved in it. And when we got here today, and craziness was there. I think they they got a, a bit of a start, but I think it was uh, it was great to be in. I think it's what Philadelphia College basketball is about, and we were proud to be a part of it. Well, you finished with 21 points, 15 in the second half, and you've seen him uh, very good team for starting in the second half. What did you see from him in the second half? Yeah, he, I thought he played great. He, he made a couple of great, not only did he score, but he made a couple of terrific passes as well. I mean, he's a really terrific offensive player, uh, and he's starting to come around a little bit on the defensive end as well. And, and be a complete player, but certainly on the offensive end, he's uh, he's got game. Yeah, I to see more city teams play games here. You know, I think it's it's not easy, Dick, because uh, you know everybody's put time and effort into their buildings. You know, do you want to give that up? And, you know, for uh, for guys that've been around a little bit, you know, you you remember the atmosphere and, and how special it is. You know. But I, I think it's difficult to do. I think times have changed in college basketball, and that's that's the reality. But it's the way it is. You got 19 points and 15 rebounds from Anthony today. He's the AAC rebound. What do you see from him this year? Yeah, he's had a, he's statistically has a very good season going for himself, and he was uh, a couple of things that really I was happy about was a couple of stick backs off of missed shots. You know, when he can get offensive rebounds and stick backs, it that, that, that helps us dramatically. It was. Uh, Josh Brown shot a jumper away from our bench, and then Anthony just tipped it right back in, which was great. And it just gives you so much energy when that, those kind of plays happen. Let's talk about 60% of the second half. Did you guys have some fatigue factor getting to the open You know, I don't think so, Bob. I'll tell you what happened. I, I thought uh, there was one play where I think one of our guys missed a three, and he ran it down very quickly. We just didn't match the door and away from our bench. That was one of them. I think there were three different times that at end of shot clock, uh, and Zach was in the middle of one where he, he uh, shot his jumper and it went in the basket. And then another time where we on a kick out to Peterson. I'm not sure if that was at the end of the shot clock or not, but we, we kind of missed our assignment there. And there was another play at the end of the shot clock. It might have been a Garland made a shot. Uh, but I thought our, you know, if, if it is fatigue, there's not a lot we can do about it. We're, we're pushing ourselves as, as good as we can. We're getting the proper rest. We're not. Uh, going crazy at practice times, we're trying to uh, do much more mental approach than physical approach. But uh, you know, it's just one of those things. I think it, it not only does it manifest itself on on defense sometimes, but it also manifests itself on offense, where maybe you take a bad shot that that's not necessary. Fran, you mentioned the mental approach. A bunch of games have come down to one or two plays, which you seem not to make more than you have this year. Mm -hmm. Is it a confidence thing? Do you think at times? I think so. I think that's that's a, a real thought, and we talk about that uh, ad nauseum. You know, just now let's buckle down here. And it's not again not only on the offensive end where you make a, a poor choice, but on defense where you maybe you don't go out on a on a uh, like today we left Duran at the end of a shot clock. There's no need for us to do that. Uh, so it's it's those little things that that kind of let you down and. And you're playing against a really good basketball team who has the ability to go 14 for 23 in the second half. Uh, so we, we need to be a little bit more mentally alert. Right, it's like all units need to play games the way down the stretch. Today, kind of the opposite, and then you close an 11 point lead into a four point game. What kind of goes into that, especially with having two guys for 40 minutes? 
Yeah, I mean, again, and, and DeCozzi probably would have played 40 minutes too if he didn't get in foul trouble. But, uh, you know, it's just keep working every single day. It's, uh, we, we have some inexperienced guys that are getting now, uh, the freshmen are now sophomores, and the sophomores are now juniors. And you know, a kid like Devontae Watson gave us a pretty good game today, and that, uh, that's, we'll build on that. We have a tough week coming up next week with uh, at UConn and Cincinnati at home. So just trying to get better every single day. Yeah, and I, I think he played well on the offensive end, did a, did a couple of real good things, a tip in. I, uh, to be honest with you, going one for two at the foul line, that's, uh, we're making progress. And then now he's got to be more, a little more dominant on the defensive end, getting to position sooner and using that length that he has. Would you like to see him body up a little bit more down the line? I'd like to see him be more efficient in every aspect of the game, but uh, you know, Devontae's given us what he has, and we'll take that, and hopefully he's growing to be a better player. When you struggle with the Yeah, I don't see that on offense. I might see that on um, defense. The hesitancy sometimes might appear defensively, but I don't see it on offense. I thought uh, I thought we were successful driving the ball in the first half, and I'm, at, at that point, they're going to change their defense, and they're going to say we're not allowing that same drive to the rim. Uh, but I thought their defense was really solid today. Our best, I mean, we get 15 offensive rebounds, not necessarily something that we do, but uh, I thought we did a pretty good job at that. So it's different. You got to find different ways to score in different possessions. Brandon, you just touched on it with the rebounding. Was it, would you like to play Anthony and Devontae next to each other more often because this was probably the best rebounding game in, in quite some time? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, again, Devontae's growing as a player, and, and uh, he can be more efficient on the offensive end, getting the spots. and allow us to run our offense more efficiently. But yeah, it's a, it's a good combination that size helps us. Any more questions for Coach? Yeah, thanks.